Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I just wanted to walk you through a normal a normal day of travel for me with my uh, my Model 3 in the winter. I average anywhere from 120 miles for a very short day up to 220 miles for a busy day. Most days it'd be 160, 165 miles a day. I do in-home service work using my, my Tesla Model 3. And I get people that ask me all the time, what is my typical day with the car? Typical day is charging to roughly 80% and preheating the car for anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour before I leave with the car plugged in. So that way the car, everything is warm to the touch and um, the, just the everything, I, I don't get in the car and it's freezing, not just the air, but all the surfaces. And um, so typically what I do is I set the charge for 80% and then I get up in the morning and I'll turn the state of charge up to 85% by the app and turn the cabin heat on. And that will ease the, the charge up a little bit, which warms the pack and we'll warm the, the cabin down. And um, so I did that today. It is 29 degrees Fahrenheit out, which is one or two degrees below zero Celsius. And I reset my today uh, trip odometer and um, I had it, um, I've gone 3.2 miles and so far I've uh, averaged 278 watt hours per mile. Now, what I typically do, I preheat the cabin up to 80 degrees. So when I get out in the car, it's very warm. And then I immediately turn off the cabin heat to drive, but I leave the seat heat on. It's on three bars right now. So three bacons to warm up my bacon. And um, so what I wanna do is walk you guys through my normal day. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll check in with you guys throughout the day. This will be somewhat of a segmented video, but I'll check in with you guys through the day as I go from appointment to appointment and show you what, uh, what my, how many miles I've driven, what my watt hours per mile are, and uh, just give you guys a, a day, uh, an idea of my average day. I will show you uh, how often I turn on the cabin heat to warm it up. I do have a winter hat that I have on the passenger seat next to me. If um, I, I don't have a jacket, but I do have layers on. I've got multiple shirts on, you know, long johns, jeans, that kind of thing. I, I don't like a big thick jacket because it's restrictive, but being follically challenged as I am, I do have a winter hat that I wear. So I don't turn the heat on just because it's no longer warm in the car. I'll turn the heat on when it gets a little bit cool in here, probably when it's down like around 55 degrees or so in the car, then I'll turn the heat on. So this is not a hyper -miling video. This is just a video of what my normal day is like. So I am, I, I do focus on efficiency, but you know what? I have to work from my car. So I'm not always super focused on making everything perfect. I do my best to make my range as long as I can make it but without going nuts about it. Like right now, uh, I'm I'm not going, it's 55 mile an hour speed limit, but there's cars behind me that are right behind me and that I don't, so I have it set for 60, which is five over, uh, which is typically the, the max limit that the Tesla will let you set uh, autopilot for. And uh, so I'm not necessarily hyper miling, but I am gonna be uh, attentive to making sure that my, um, all the, that I, I'm gonna increase my range as much as is reasonably possible. Current tire temperature or tire pressure, front tires are listed at 39 PSI, rears are at 40. Uh, that's from the cold weather. Actually, if it were 90 degrees outside, they would be at 50 PSI. There's, I, and I've got a video coming up uh, where I discuss that as well. So anyway, we'll get to it. And uh, I'm sure you guys will get a kick out of seeing what my average day is like. All right, guys, so I just left my first appointment and I'm on the road on the way to my next appointment. It is uh, 30 degrees Fahrenheit or one or two below zero uh, Celsius, which I know it's not ultra cold, but this is typical weather, winter weather, mid 20s to about 30 Fahrenheit, a few degrees below uh, Celsius. So this is a good, a good uh, sort of typical winter day with one exception, it is sunny. So I'm not going to have to use cabin heat much at all because the sunshine beating in on the black interior will help tremendously. So right now, uh, since um, since leaving this morning, uh, well, let me 
me say this. Uh, I, uh, I've driven six miles from my last appointment and 349 watt hours per mile. But since I left this morning, I've put a total so far of 12 miles on the car, 12.8, and I'm at exactly 300 watt hours per mile. Now, uh, I'm not using the, the cabin heat. And as I just said, with the sunshine beating in in the car, I probably won't have to use it much today, just use the seat heat. But I will tell you that um, what typically happens is I get two or three, maybe four appointments in uh, into my day, and it's cold enough out that the cabin has gotten cold enough that I need to turn the heat on and it, it drives my watt hours per mile down, but that's fine, I need heat. So, Or if the windows start fogging just for me being in here breathing, then I'll turn it on to defrost the windows and add a little heat to the cabin. Uh, but currently I haven't needed to do that yet. And um, so in this little bit of driving since talking to you, my watt hours per mile is currently at 304 watt hours per mile. I'm right now at 74% state of charge. I left this morning at 81% state of charge. So rolling right along. All right, so I'm a few appointments into my day at this point. It is currently 33 degrees out, so it is warming up a bit, although the sun is down. So uh, in 31 miles, I've averaged 281 watt hours per mile. And uh, I'm currently on my way to a, a one hour and three minute away uh, appointment. So I'll be on the expressway and the expressway driving will for sure hurt my watt hours per mile. I'm currently at 67% state of charge and the car estimates I'll arrive at my next appointment uh, with a 42% state of charge. So we'll see if that holds true or not. And uh, the day's going pretty well. When I, uh, I was at my last appointment, a, uh, another worker showed up in a work van backed in the driveway. I was installing a garbage disposal. I do appliance repair for those of you that don't know. And the other worker was doing some work down in their basement. And uh, so he, he came in and, and commented on the car. Nice car. And I look and I see a guy with a toolbox driving a Tesla. What's that? So that was kind of comical. I get that multiple times every day. And I got to tell you, the, um, the reality of my situation is not lost on me in that uh, I, I am blessed to be able to drive this car on a daily basis not only get to drive it on a daily basis, but my YouTube channel more than pays for the car and the business pays for the car. I mean, I, I, I earn money by driving this car and I get paid to drive the car on top of it earning money to drive the car. I mean, it's just, uh, it is not, the reality of that blessing is not lost on me. I just want to be clear on that. So anyway, my day's going well. Regen is still limited to about 50% of normal available regen, so kind of weird, but uh, it is what it is. Oftentimes in the winter, I have limited regen for the entire day. So anyway, I'll keep you guys surprised of how the day goes, and yeah, this is a typical uh, winter day for me. So I'll check in again later. Hey guys, all right, so I've gone 71.1 miles so far. And my battery uh, state of charge is currently at 52%. I left this morning at 81%. So I've used just shy of 30%, so 29% of my charge to go 71 miles. And uh, current reading is 268 watt hours per mile. And um, it is 34 degrees Fahrenheit. And tires are currently, all four are at 41 PSI. So right now I'm going 75 miles per hour on the expressway and uh, it is a 70 mile per hour speed limit. So yep, just continuing on my day. All right, so I'm nearing the end of my day. I've gone 139.3 miles. I still have a few miles before I get home, so a little over 140 miles. I'm currently at 25% state of charge. So there we go, uh, just shy of 140 miles and 265 watt hours per mile for the day. So we'll call it probably 24% by the time I get home. I started at 81%, so a little under 60% uh, of my charge, and I've gone 139 miles. I have gone 265 watt hours per mile today, 
and this is a pretty typical day for me. Now, uh, I normally average just a little bit more uh, distance than this, uh, maybe 160 miles rather than uh, uh, rather than the uh, 140. And uh, typically, I will average somewhere in the range of about it's right around 60% state of charge uh, for a day's driving. Uh, that's in the winter time. Now in the summer, so I again, I've averaged 265 watt hours per mile today. If I'm using the heat a lot, so let's say it's down at 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which what would that be? I don't know, uh, 10 below Celsius or something like that. Uh, I would be using the cabin heat more and my watt hours per mile. I'd say in the worst times of the winter are about 320, 330 watt hours per mile. And what I'll do under those circumstances, I'll charge the car to 90% rather than 80%. I will make sure I preheat the car for a solid hour before I leave. And I will structure my day in such a way to minimize the number of miles I drive. Uh, because I, I don't want to be worried that I'm going to get home with 3% charge or something. But normal 160 mile day, if it's not crazy frigid out, it's really not a big deal. Uh, I, I charge to 80%, I get home with 20% left. So I'm protecting the top 20%, bottom 20% using the center 60% of the charge, which seems ideal. So that's pretty much a normal day for me. Probably not a very exciting video, but a very helpful and useful one. I've probably used the cabin heat a total of about 30 minutes today. A couple times I got a little bit cold, I'd turn it on, but otherwise I have the seat heat set right at three bars. I just keep it cranked. Eventually it may get a little bit too hot and I'll turn it down to two, but for most of the day during the winter, I leave it at three. Right now I have full regen. Uh, there's um, all the little dots have disappeared. I've got full regen available, which is good, but of course it's pretty much nearing the end of my day at this point. So yeah, uh, definitely uh, definitely a, a normal day in a lot of ways. Again, usually I would drive just a little bit more miles than this, but uh, but that's pretty much what I do. My day consists of, I wake up at about 6 a.m. I'm downstairs in my office at 6.30ish, I do paperwork for an hour, hour and a half, probably an hour, and uh, I leave the house, uh, but for the hour I'm doing paperwork, I typically hit my, uh, my app and warm up the car, so uh, then I leave for work, and this is my typical day. Now, I, I haven't put a clip between every single appointment. I, I typically average, I don't know, eight or nine service calls a day and uh, four days a week, and then Wednesday I do work in the shop. So both filling screen mount orders and just building other projects. I still do have a little bit of, of uh, electric bike work that I do for clients as well. So, so that's pretty much my life uh, in a nutshell, my, uh, my work with this car. And I will give you guys more winter advice uh, throughout this, this winter season. And um, I've got, uh, got a couple videos planned for some very interesting technical information that uh, is useful to have for any Model 3 owner, especially for the winter. So anyway, uh, have yourselves a wonderful day. If you have any questions, by all means, go ahead and leave your questions in the comments section below. And uh, yeah, keep your eye on the channel because I've got a lot of interesting things coming and some changes to the channel as well. The channel keeps growing. November was my best month ever and it just it keeps climbing so anyway thanks a lot guys have a wonderful day bye bye now